watching Free Fake News Channel. Stubbins Firth, two Fs, was a trainee doctor determined to prove that yellow fever was not contagious. During the 1793 epidemic, the largest outbreak of the disease in American history, he decided to bring himself into contact with the bodily fluids of late-stage yellow fever victims. First, he smeared infected black vomit into incisions in his arms. He then proceeded to pour the vomit directly into his eyeballs, inject it into his veins and under his cuticles. He fried three ounces of vomit in a pan and inhaled the fumes. He then built his own vomit sauna and sat at length in a small closet thick with steamed vomit. Finally, he progressed to drinking it straight, half an ounce to two ounces at a time. When all of this didn't make him ill with yellow fever, he continued the same tests with late-stage infected patients' urine, saliva, and blood. He failed to ever contract yellow fever, but not because his hypothesis of non-contagion was correct. Yellow fever is very contagious. He failed to become ill with yellow fever because late-stage infected patients are no longer contagious. The real source of yellow fever transmission, human blood plasma carried by mosquitoes, was discovered by Carlos Finlay decades after Stubbins Firth's death of natural causes.